Miss Jean here for another mini adventure in Discovery Mountain. It looks like Mr. Simon needs some help. He's placing a help wanted sign in the trekker's window. Oh, and Mia is looking at the sign. Is she the right person for the job? Come on and listen to today's mini adventure called Don't Be Late. Mr. Simon, Mr. Simon. Hello there, Mia. How can I help you today? This. Hey, that's my help wanted sign. I just hung it up in the window. Well, your search is over. <coughs> right, Gadget? Who else could possibly be a better dog walker than me? <coughs> well, he does seem to agree with you. Oh, Mr. Simon, may I please have the job? I love animals, and especially Gadget. Well, Mia, I'd be happy to consider you for the job. You know, walking Gadget's a big responsibility. I know, and I'm very responsible. Well, all right. Then you have an interview. Interview? Yes. Come back here at 3.30 p.m. tomorrow. I'll be here at 3.30 sharp. Good. Don't be late. I won't. Thank you, Mr. Simon. See you then. The next day, Mia was so excited. She could hardly focus on what her teacher said. When the final bell rang, Mia dashed out of school and towards Trekkers. Yes, Gadget. Mia will be here for her interview any minute now. Oh, there she is now. There she is? Oh, Pastor Peabody. We were expecting Mia. Sorry to disappoint. Oh, you're never a disappointment. How may I help you? Well, Mabel asked me to pick some things up. Let me see my list. Almond milk and strawberries. They're both in the cooler, far right-hand side. Thanks, Mr. Simon. Your sermon this weekend... Yes? It made me think about my priorities. Your illustration really hit home about putting others' needs ahead of my own. Oh, good. And how much do I owe you? Uh, let's ring them up. Six dollars and twenty-seven cents, please. Uh, here you go. You know, the verse I shared, 1 Corinthians 10.24, really jumped out at me when I worked on the sermon. Thinking about others instead of myself first isn't always what I want to do. No, me neither. But I've been trying to be better about that all week. Thanks for the groceries, Mr. Simon. And thanks for the feedback on the sermon. I'm glad to know that it's making a difference for you this week. Ah, phone's ringing. I'll let you get to that. Hopefully that's Mia letting me know why she's running late. Bye, Peabody. Bye. Hello, Trekkers. <coughs> Shh, Gadget. Oh, hello, Deputy Bo. No, the spark plugs for your motorbike haven't arrived yet. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, I'll call you when they do. Bye now. No, Gadget, it wasn't Mia. I did say don't be late, didn't I? I thought so. She didn't call. Let's see. Or oh, text me a message. Hmm. Oh, let me check my email in case she emailed me a message. 37 new messages. Oh, here's one from Mia. Dear Mr. Simon, please find attached my resume for your consideration for the position of Gadget's dog walker. Yes, look at this gadget. She even included a photo of you in her resume. Well, no note about why she could be late. I know, boy. I'm disappointed, too. Let's hang the help wanted sign back up in the window. I can't hire someone who's late for her own job interview. <laughs> Mr. Simon! Mia, you're here! <coughs> but you're nearly 20 minutes late. I know, I'm late, but it's Pastor Peabody's fault. Peabody's fault? But he was just here, and he didn't say... No, it's because of his sermon. Because of a sermon three days ago? You're late today? Yeah. Pastor Peabody said that we should think about other people's needs before we think of our own, remember? Yes, I've been thinking about that this week, too. Well, all day, all I could think about was this job interview. More than anything, I wanted to be Gadget's dog walker. Well, while I was walking here, I passed Logan sitting on the school swing. 
Yes? He had tears in his eyes. Mr. Simon, Logan was crying. <laughs> I see. I wanted to ignore his tears, but then I remembered the sermon. Logan needed a friend. So you stopped to help him. And that's why you're late. You see, it's all because of Pastor Peabody's sermon. Oh, Mr. Simon, please don't hang the sign back up. Please give me another chance. Mia, I'm not going to hang the sign back up. You're hired. Really? Without an interview, even? Yes. You have an impressive resume. And because you put Logan's needs ahead of your own, I know that you'll always take good care of Gadget. Thank you, Mr. Simon. I won't let you down. Now come on, Gadget. Let's go for our first walk. Mia was late for her job interview, but in a strange way, being late got her the job. Mr. Simon saw Mia's priorities were right and that she put her friend's needs ahead of her own. It isn't always easy to think of others instead of ourselves. The verse that Pastor Peabody shared is a good reminder of how we can exercise our faith. Here it is. It's 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 24. Let no one seek his own, but each one the other's well-being. Now, this week, be on the lookout for others who need you, just as Mia noticed Logan, and exercise your faith in the process. I'm Miss Jean, and you've been listening to a mini adventure in Discovery Mountain, where the air is clear, clear enough to hear your imagination, and where every day is an exercise in faith. Visit us at discoverymountain.com and connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.